Welcome to Currency Conversion Simplified. When converting an amount of money from one currency to another, we multiply or divide the amount by the given exchange rate. Some of us can readily tell if we should multiply or divide. The rest of us have to do some thinking. The purpose of this tutorial is to simplify the thought process. Let's take a look at a couple of examples to convert a euro amount to US dollars and a yen amount to US dollars. In the first example, let's convert an amount of 5 million euros to US dollars at the exchange rate of $1.42 per euro. First, we identify the currency to convert. In this example, it's the euro. Next, we look to see where the euro appears in the code provided. When the currency we are trying to convert appears in the denominator of the code, we multiply. That's what we are going to do in this example, multiply. Mathematically, the two euro signs cancel each other out and we wind up with a dollar amount. This is exactly what we wanted. So multiplication was the right thing to do. Let's see what would have happened had we tried to divide the amount of 5 million euros by the exchange rate. Since we would have had the euro in the denominator of the denominator, we would rearrange it as euro multiplied by 5 million euros divided by $1.42. This would result in euro squared over dollar. We know there is no such currency unit, so we would immediately realize our mistake. Without using the currency units, it would have been hard to catch the error. This is because the answer could have been misleading. In the next example, our goal is to convert a yen amount to the dollar amount at the exchange rate of 82 yen per dollar. We check to see where the yen appears in the code that is provided. When the currency we are trying to convert appears in the numerator of the code, we divide. That's what we are going to do in this example. We are going to divide. By dividing, we just flip the dollar sign from the denominator of the denominator to the numerator. This is just a mathematical operation. The two yen signs cancel each other out. We now wind up with a dollar amount. Again, this was our goal, so by dividing, we did the right thing. Let's check to see what would have happened if we had multiplied instead of dividing. We would have wound up with yen squared over dollar. Since there isn't such a currency code, we would have immediately recognized our mistake. In summary, when converting currencies, keeping units of currencies in place can help prevent mistakes. I hope you find this tutorial to be helpful. Thank you.